Hi, I'm Kira Futrell and I'm the Assistive Technology Specialist for the North and East Midland areas. Today I'm going to show you how to add books into Grid 3 for children and adults. So I'm going to show you how to find the book pages that are already in Supercore and Supercore Learning Grids. I'm going to add a story called Nobot into Supercore 30 from another user. And I'm going to show you online grids where you can download Tar Hill Reader Books and Kindle. I'm also going to show you a bookshelf that's been created for both children and adults. So to begin with, I'm going to go into Supercore Learning and I'm going to choose the child version, which will stay in this once I've selected it this first time. I'm going to choose Start. And I'm going to go into play and the 12 cell version. Here you can see a reading icon. And if we go into this, you can see that if I'm reading a story, I can then choose to say stop or I want to want again or read more or stop book or turn page. So every symbol and cell in this grid set is error free and whatever the individual chooses it's relevant to the story. I'm going to go back out of here and go back to Grid Explorer and just show you Supercore 50 so from the opposite end. So Supercore 50 again this is a new grid set so I'm going to choose child again and this will stay in child. I'm going to then choose, so the stories in here are things like Gruffalo and Room on the Broom and Dear Zoo, so all the children's favourites. I'm going to go into School and I'm going to go into Stories and More. And then you can see all the stories here. So if I go into Gruffalo, you can see that there are lots and lots of preset phrases in here. Who are, which are all about the child enjoying the story and joining in with those repetitive phrases. So I'm just going to jump home and then I'm going to go back out and go into Grid Explorer again and just show you Supercore 30. So the same stories are in here. Again, at the moment I need to choose child because it's the first time I've gone into this grid set. And in here, the stories are in more school stories and more. So you've got the same stories over here. So we've got Gruffalo, Room on the Boom, Bear Hunt, things like that. But I'm going to add in a grid set called No uh, for, with a story in it called No Bot. So I'm going to come back out and I am going to add from another user. So at the moment, I've not got it in this user, so in my Facebook user, I'm going to go into users from the top menu bar. I am going to go into this grid set. And you can see here, I've got no bot here. So I can show you in Supercore 30, I'm going to go more, school, stories, and more again. And you can see that I've added Nobot into here with some language in here for the book. So I want to pull this one page into my other grid set. I'm going to go back to my original user. Sorry to confuse you. I'm going to go into my Facebook Live and up here in the menu bar, I am going to add a grid set. I'm going to copy a grid set because it's in one of my other users. I know it's in this books for children and adults, and here it is. So I'm going to pull that into my user. You can see it's popped in here, but because I've made personalizations in my original Supercore, I don't want to change to a different Supercore. So now I've pulled the other grid set in, I'm going to go into my Supercore and I'm going to go and find my stories page again. And I'm going to bring Nobot into this blank section here. 
So I'm going to go to my top menu bar and edit grid. I'm going to change the label on this blank cell and I'm going to call it no bot. Oops. And I'm going to find a picture. I'm going to use a web search so that I've got the actual picture of the book on here. Okay. And at the moment, this is jumping to school stories template one, but I want to pull in the other pages from the other grid set. So first of all, I'm going to go to grid set and at the top here, I'm going to type in stories and wait for it to load. It might take a few minutes. It's a very big grid set, this. So you can see that we've got Room on the Broom and all the different stories in here and for Look to Learn. It will come up in a second. Thank you. Pretty sure it's this one. Apologies for the delay. My Wi Fi is obviously very, very slow. Fairly sure it's this one. <laughs> Once you've selected the one that you want, that should have images coming up. Forgive me all that. Right, let's start again. Let's go to, oh, add from another grid set. That's why. Very sorry, I forgot that. Let me do that again. So once we've created our label, I'm going to go to grid set and I'm going to add from another grid set. And now you can find where Nobot is. Add next. And now, if I type in stories, I beg your pardon, I missed a step out. If I scroll down, I can now see no bot in here, even though my picture's not here. I'm going to click add, and that's all I need to do in that section. I'm going to jump back. And now I'm going to go on to my NoBot again. And instead of browse, I'm going to browse, instead of it jumping to that template, I'm going to go and find in here NoBot. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to finish editing. And yes, I want to save changes. So now when I click on NoBot, it jumps to the page that I've pulled in. So I've still got my core words here about reading and choosing a story, but I've also got the opportunity to join in with my story. So I can show you now if we go to more, school, stories and more, we've got no bot in our stories now. Okay, so I am going to come out of this grid set and go back to Grid Explorer. And I am going to go into Online Grids and add a Tar Heel Reader book. So we go to the top menu bar and add grids. And I am going to add a grid set. I'm going to Online Grids and you have to be on Wi-Fi for this. And in my search bar, I'm going to type in Tar Heel. So these are books that are for, they're fairly simple to read, but they're for older individuals. I'm going to choose the English one and click next. So you can see that all the information here, so it is in widget. I'm going to click add and you can see that it's popped in behind here, but I'm going to click open. And again, you need to be on Wi-Fi to be able to use these books. 
So once it's loaded, there's a little note in the corner here to say turn the voice on for the website. So this is this cog. Before you go into the books, you can go into settings and choose speech and choose who you would like to have read your story. So that needs to be a facilitator that does that. Once you're in here, the individual using the grid can choose dogs. the books themselves. So I can click choose book. Different dogs. Okay, and then next this dog book. likes lying in the grass. Puppies like playing together. Okay. So you, to be able to change the voice or take the voice off, we need to go back to this front page. It's back to where our library of different books is and you can remove or change the voice at this point. So that's the Tar Heel Reader. And then I'm gonna go back to Grid Explorer from our top three dashes again. And this time I'm going to add Kindle. So we're going to add a grid set. Online grids again, I'm going to, and Kindle, and search. You will get a few different ones coming up, but the Kindle for Grid 3 is the one that you want. And you can see in here that the information tells you you need to download Kindle from here and choose the PC option if you're on a Windows computer. So again, look for the fact that we've made this, so Tizzy's made this grid set. I'm going to add it. And I'm not actually going to demo this because it does mess up Facebook Live. Well, um, so just checking that I'm still on, yeah. So I would launch the Kindle grid set and read book and then once you've clicked read book it does actually give you the option to read out loud on here as well so i'm going to go back to here and this time i am going to go back to online grids one last time i'm going to add a grid set and i'm again going to go to online grids but this time i'm going to search for jess so jess is one of my colleagues and she has made lots of different grid sets, but I'm going to bring down this shared reading book with grids. So I'm going to choose next and add and open. So this one's for children, as you can see, and you've got... I want to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And you've got lots of nice vocabulary in here that's ready. And once you go into vocabulary, it's specific to that book. So I can go back. You've also got some nice I think it's... opinions in here. Do you like it? Is it boring? Is it your favourite? And asking questions about the story. I can go to change, change book, book and that takes me back to my bookshelf. So I have created one of these for adults. So just to show you how to personalise it, I'm going to go back to Grid Explorer. And I'm going to add a grid set from another user now. So again, like I did before, I'm going to copy a grid set this time. And let me just take you back here. This is all my users that I've got in here. So it is in this one and it's called Book Club. So I'm going to click OK. So you can now see that it's popped into my Grid Explorer page. I'm going to open that. And I've already populated Pride and one Prejudice by Jane Austen. for Pride and Prejudice. So we've got turn the page. I want to look at that. I want to read it again. And you can see in the vocabulary, we've got different people in here to be able to talk about them. And I've still got, I think it's whether you like it or you don't like it in there and questions to ask. So I can go to change, change book. book and just to briefly show you how to personalize this, I'm going to go to edit grid. On this one, I am going to change label and I'm going to call it Harry Potter. I'm going to find picture because I want an actual picture of Harry Potter. So I'm going to choose web search. I want maybe the film. So here we go. 
because I'm in edit mode, I want to get to the pages behind this. I have to go to my command bar and follow jump. And then you can see I've got lots of language in here that I can put in. So in this cell, I'm going to create a right cell. Okay. And I'm going to call it Harry Potter and the Chamber of in here these are different so these are called wordless cells i need to come to the side here and edit and in here i am going to put in turn the page i'm going to click enter to add that in i'm going to say read that bit again enter I'm going to say slow down and I like this. So once I'm happy with the words that I've got in there, I can click OK and you can see that it's populated in it here. But I also want some vocabulary to be able to talk about. So again, because we're in edit mode, I need to follow jump. And again, I'm going to click on these empty cells and I'm going to edit. So same again, like we saw before, I am going to put in the word spell, but I want a different picture. Enter. I am going to do Hogwarts. And it hasn't got a picture, so I'm going to use a web search for this. And choose my picture of Hogwarts. And I'm going to put Harry, I'm going to leave him as a wizard for now. I'm going to do Ron, hasn't got a picture of Ron, so I'm going to do a web search. <laughs> and if we scroll down to the bottom, we've got Ron at the bottom there. And one more. Okay, and I'm going to finish editing, and yes, I would like to save, cha save changes. And you can see there Ron. that I've got all my words ready for Harry Potter. Change book. Okay, I'm going to go back to Grid Explorer, and that's me done. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions, drop a comment below and someone will get back to you or get in touch via our website. Thank you for watching.